Hi, this is Derek Van Dyke, and this is Lesson 3 of the Your First Thousand Coaching Program. If you haven't already, you should download this checklist so you can follow along as I show you how to create your lead capture system. Now, this lesson also comes with squeeze page templates that are located in the same zip file as this checklist. Now, the first step is to find a freebie to give away. So if you didn't find one when you found your product in the first lesson, there's a couple other places you can look for PLR, and that's all private label content, nicheology, and info go round. So we have the Warrior Forum, uh, you can search on Google, or these membership sites that you can sign up for to get private label rights products. Now make sure you check the license file to see if you can give it away for free. Now here's the report that came with the Facebook Marketing Extreme Package that I purchased in Lesson 1. It's 22 pages long and it advertises the Facebook Marketing Extreme ebook throughout this report. So what you need to do is go through and change all these links and you, if you have a report graphic you'd add it here and then look for affiliate links that you can replace with your own. But right now what you want to do is go through and edit this whole thing and change the footers, okay? So you'd want to point this to your website and it looks like he's got links to affiliate programs here. So you'd want to change these or take them out. All right, so you got the header and the footer. You can change the header and then here's the table of contents. Now as you read through the report, you should be thinking about a hook for your squeeze page headline. You should also be looking for grammar errors, spelling errors, and outdated links. Now at the end of the report, there's also a recommended resources section and you want to change those affiliate links or add new ones or just remove them if you want to. Now this report is mainly about advertising on Facebook and it says you can get Facebook ads for as little as five cents per click. So that could be a potential hook for the squeeze page. And there's also seven tips to get viral traffic from Facebook. Well I think I have enough for a good headline, so let's open up one of the squeeze page templates and get started. So here's the headline I came up with. Free report reveals how to get ads at five cents per click and seven ways to get free viral traffic from Facebook. I just went through the product, found a couple of good hooks, and then came up with the headline with some specific numbers, okay? So write your headline, and then we'll get on to the next step, which is creating your list and then adding your list name to your opt-in form. Now if you don't already have an Aweber account, or an autoresponder for that matter, uh, you can get a $1 trial for 30 days and then you pay just $19 a month. So I'm going to go ahead and log in and we're going to create a new list. Once you're logged in, click on create and manage the list. On the right hand side, click create a new list. Change the default list name to something you'll recognize. I usually use an acronym, fan page traffic system underscore leads. And then I'll make another list, uh, FPTS underscore customers. That'll be in the next video. So I'm going to go down and add a uh, list description. And my name and email. Now this is the email that your mail will be sent from. And you can add your company name and website URL if you want to. I'm just going to go down here and click on save settings. And then go to step two which is the confirmation message. You always want to have your confirmed opt-in status on for leads and then I turn it off for customers because they're already on my list. So this is the confirmation message that your prospects will receive when they first opt into your form. Okay, So they have to click on the link to be added to your list and to get the free report. So you want to modify this so it's something they can recognize in their inbox. Now they have pre-approved subject lines, but I like to add their first name and then confirm to download the name of your report. That way they see their first name and you have to have confirm to download in this or confirm your subscription or something like that or it will not get approved by Aweber. Okay, next place your cursor down here and modify this. Now, I use a short and simple email giving them a call to action and letting them know that they'll get instant access, that they're not going to have to jump through any more hoops to get their free report. So as soon as they click on this link down here, it's going to take them directly to the free report. 
So you have to add the full URL to the download page in this box. But first let's add a custom closing. I'll just say all the best. Derek Van Dyke. Okay, and now this is gonna be the full link to the download page, including HTTP. So after they click on that link, it's take, they're taken straight to the download page, they're confirmed, and then they will receive your first email. So the next step is to add your list name and modify your opt-in form. Okay, so we just copy this list name and then view the source of your HTML page. Find the HTML for the form tag. Okay, this is the form, begins with form and ends with form, okay? So we got the name, email, and we wanna add the unit or list name here. Next we have the redirect. We're gonna send them to the download page if they're already on our list, and the confirmation page if they're not. So the next step is to create those pages. We're gonna have a confirmation page and a download page, and we are also gonna add an offer to each one of those pages. So here's the confirmation page that came with the squeeze page templates. This is the first page they'll see after they opt in to get your free report. If you add an offer to this page, you'll probably make more money, but you might have fewer people confirm their email addresses. So I would start with the offer and then just keep an eye on your confirmation rate. So once they click the confirmation link, they're taken to this download page. And you definitely want to add an affiliate offer here. And if you're using an image, don't forget to link the image to your affiliate link. The next step is to test your lead capture system. So we finished the free report, the confirmation page, and the download page. Now we just have to upload these to the server and actually sign up for the list. So I'm gonna log into the server with my FTP program. And as you can see, there's nothing on the server in the World Wide Web directory. So I'm going to get into the webs. This is the domain name, fan page traffic system. And we want confirm, download, and free report. And I'll transfer those files. Then we'll load free report HTM in the browser window and then submit the form to make sure everything is working properly. Okay, once we verify that we're taken to the confirmation page, the next step is to check our email. So here's the email. Derek, confirm to download Facebook Marketing Secrets. So we click the link to confirm and that takes us directly to the download page. Now they get access as promised to the download and this big arrow draws attention to this free video where you earn money. Well, that concludes lesson three. So what you need to do right now is go set up your lead capture system. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to add follow-ups for your prospects and your customers. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Derek Van Dyke and I'll talk to you soon.